Hello, dear fellows. Well, if you stumbled uh, upon this video, I assume that you have the same issue as I had on restoring uh, the data on your Western Digital MyCloud home device. This uh, silly piece of shit. And today I will show you how to recover your data completely for free. And the first thing you want to do is you want to tear it apart. And uh, this is a great video that shows you how to do it. It's in Czech, but uh, you don't need to understand the language. Just look at what he's doing and repeat the same steps. Afterwards, you can connect your drive to your PC and no matter what Windows does prompt you to do, do not format it. Otherwise, your data may be lost forever. And when I had, um, had this uh, creepy uh, mess here of this MyCloud home um, storage, I couldn't access the files and what I did I asked in this reddit on how how to solve it I didn't really get an answer from them who just told me yeah use some software it didn't work and either way pay some expert like we didn't provide any answer and we call themselves Ask a data recovery pro. What the fuck? Like, even if you look at some questions here, we don't provide any um, effective um, methods on how to solve anything, but just uh, redirect you to to pay to someone. And even Western Digital does the same. Who you bought the so uh, the mic the device from them? Where warranty doesn't help you, but uh, we just uh, redirect you to some expert who you have to pay uh, a huge amounts of money to. Sick. And I found uh, this software, uh, UFS Explorer, where I even um, explain here how to use it. And it should get the job done. I've tried it with a free trial version and it did recover the file structure but the program does cost uh, around uh, 600 euros and uh, who wants to pay that money? Instead you could buy Recovery Explorer Professional the other two don't have a file structure um, option but even this program does cost um, a good amount of money and then we include the taxes so taxes costs extra you can get a 15% discount on color mango but uh, I wouldn't recommend it to buy something from them. It's the same um, manufacturer, SysDev Laboratories, where did UFS Explorer and Recovery Explorer. So I then stumbled upon this thread here and thanks to uh, Christopher who did uh, this uh, fantastic um, script I could recover the data and unfortunately there is no step-by-step -step guide here on how to do it so I thought of making this video to help you out with your MyCloud home device. So first things first what you're gonna need to do is to download Ubuntu and get it on a live USB. So I will link a um, video in the description which shows you how to do it where maybe more 
but uh, it was the first one I found. But it's pretty easy, you just download uh, the newest Ubuntu version, doesn't matter which one. Then just download Rufus and you're good to go. Don't forget to download um, the script. Just go into the site, click on code and download zip. Afterwards you could just run Rufus. Choose your USB stick. Then choose Ubuntu. And choose the persistent partition. Uh, I, I went for the biggest possible. It means that uh, the changes you do to the live USB version of Ubuntu are gonna are gonna persist so even if you restart your computer uh, the software you have installed won't disappear also otherwise if you don't do a persistent partition uh, everything will be um, restored after restart so it I does I do recommend this and then the rest doesn't even matter you can go for anti NTFS which even is supported by Microsoft and uh, I think it supports bigger file sizes than FAT32 but uh, for this in this case it doesn't really matter you only will need uh, to do it once afterward you can just format your USB stick then you click on start and I already did it so I don't need to do it anymore and let's meet uh, right uh, again in Ubuntu. Well, now we are back in Ubuntu. I hope you shouldn't have any problems booting up with your live USB stick. It, um, it depends on your motherboard and your motherboard manufacturer on how to do it. So unfortunately, where is no general way I can show you to do it. But if you should encounter any problems, uh, where 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 should be um, a few threads online and on YouTube on how to do it. What we're gonna do now is if we have our Python script already ready here. We need to open it with the text editor and edit the following path. To do it, we go to our files, our locations, and find our My Cloud Home crappy hard drive. Here we go to REST SDK, data database db index db we go to properties and copy this path right into here and don't forget to add index db what you could do also is to just copy media ubuntu up to this point path up to this point and add it here because in the beginning in the raw script you should have this part already and this part already and very important is do not copy this part, the admin double point slash slash. Just leave it here as it is. You only need the slash media and so on. I did this in the beginning and um, had a bit of struggle to run the, the script. Now you also need to add the path to your 
hard drive where you want to store your data to and you go into it here just go into a or create a new folder if you don't have any folders and then you go to properties and see the complete path here copy it and paste it directly here don't forget the slash in the beginning and leave it empty in the end so no slash required here very important keep this signs afterwards you can just save it and close the script open and terminal I'm not sure if you are required to um, have root access you can try it without but you can also try it directly with type sudo i enter look up the path to your python script depending on where you have it just copy this here and type damn German layout Python copy paste I'm sorry type Python free backslash the path slash the script name rest sdk underscore public dot pi and click on enter now it should run with script you should see it in the terminal I already done it so I won't do it again and in the end you should get, get a message on that it's finished and that you can donate a few bitcoins to the creator and depending on how big your uh, files are and how many you have it can take a few hours up to a few days and hopefully uh, it'll help you with this issue and then you can just format your uh, hard drive your old MyCloud hard drive and use it as a regular hard drive in your PC and never buy something from Western G Digital again this crap